Hey there, Emilio. Here's your machine, the Burble Boost Express BS870 in silver. Um, as you saw in the photos, it's in good condition. There are some scratches here, a small thing. Um, but generally really clean, especially for its age. Um, uh, and I've just finished doing the service, so that's the back flush, the scale, checking for pressure, checking for leaks, um, and the grinder realignment. So it's good to go. The machine is like 95% functional uh, it only has like one small issue um sorry that's not true it's 100 percent functional it just makes an, a, a strange noise so everything works fine everything makes uh it, everything does its job uh, but sometimes it makes a noise so uh you may be able to hear in the video you may not so let's try <laughs> It's like a background noise, um, I've seen this before, uh, and you can try to remove the noise by running a few descale cycles, uh, honestly I don't have the time for it, um, and you're probably on the way while watching this video, so um, I'll let you do that, it may or may not remove the noise, uh, but it certainly the noise certainly was better after the first descale cycle, so I think if you do this one or, one or two times again, it should be better. Um, I like to begin my session with a blank shot, so just running hot water through the system, through the handle and into the cup to warm my cup, to warm my machine and the handle. There we go, that's the noise I was talking about. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the noise of the solenoid valve, it's a little bit dirty I think. Um, That's why the machine has been discounted. Um, you can, again, try to run a few descale cycles to clean it. You can replace the solenoid valve if you wanted to. Uh, but I think it's not worth replacing at this stage. Um, it's better to try to clean it or live with it as is. Okay. Um, after the blank shot, I'm going to dry the pore filter. So I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to use my scale to measure the, ground, the amount of ground coffee. So this is the double basket. It takes 18 grams of ground coffee. Uh, I've already set up the grind size here to grind size number four, which is quite fine. Um, you, can, you, may, you may need to change it depending on which beans you're using. But with the beans that I'm using, the Aldi brand, um, grind size number four is just fine enough, but not too fine. Okay. I'm going to zero my scale. Here is the grind amount dial. You want to change this to give you the correct amount. I'm going to adjust it for you now so that it, so that it gives you about 18 grams for a double shot. So you can choose to grind double the amount or single. I personally like to um, keep it on single and do it twice. That way it doesn't make a huge mess. Let's try. So my first dose looks like a little bit too much. So I'm going to remove a little bit. Okay, it's nine grams. Try that again. Eighteen point four. That's okay. 
It's a little bit, um, a little bit too much, so I'm going to trim it a little bit. See that? 18 grams, perfect. So keep it on the least ml, and maybe you may need to change the grind size to one click final, so to number three instead of number four. Um, but that will depend on your beans and how much coffee you want to dose. So this is 18 grams. If you don't have a scale, a good way to know that you have 18 grams is after you grind your coffee, after you tamp it down, this is the depth of the tamper that, this is how deep the tamper goes. So um, just follow the line on the tamper here. And you know that if the tamper goes this deep, you have 18 grams, uh, which is an easy way to, to know if you don't have a scale. So I'm going to clean the edges. Maybe flush a little water. Noise is gone. So it really comes and goes. Anyway, I'm going to lock the portal to all the way to the right. Make sure you lock it in all the way to the right, otherwise it won't be tight enough. And I forgot to show you the hot water spout. Here you have the hot water spout. If you want to get hot water for long black coffee, Americano, um, or making some tea. Or you can use it to warm up your cups, up to you. I like to add a little bit of hot water, just um, because I like to add sugar to my espresso. So adding hot water before, Helps the sugar dissolve. I'm going to use the scale again to measure the output of espresso. So the, the ratio that I'm using is a 2 to 1 ratio. For every gram of ground coffee, I want 2 grams of espresso. So 18 grams, I want 36 grams of espresso. Um, that's what I'm going to aim for. And I'm going to adjust the buttons here. The buttons are programmable, so you can change uh, either of them to whatever, you, whatever length you'd like. Um, so I'm going to adjust the double to give you a 36 gram dose, approximately. When making the coffee, you want to pay attention to two things, obviously. The pressure gauge, you want it to be around 9 bars, which is 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, right about here. Number two, you want to pay attention to the flow, you want it to be nice and smooth, um, not too slow. If it's too slow, like black drops coming out dripping, then that's very fine. If it's too quick, like almost like a black river just gushing out, then that means it's too coarse, so you want to make it finer. That's assuming that you have fresh beans and you have 18 grams in the basket. If, you if you're using old beans, the pressure will be low and the coffee will be too runny anyway. Um, and if you're not putting exactly 18 grams, so if you're putting more than 18, the pressure will be really high. If you're putting less than 18, pressure will be really low. So. Looks good. Yep, that is perfect. So, it started flowing at about 10 seconds from the button press, and I'm timing it now just to see how long it'll take. It shouldn't take too long or too little, so it should take between 20 and 30 seconds to get that double shot. And I'm gonna stop it when I think it's about double shot, it's about there. Maybe, maybe that's about a double shot. I don't use this cup too often, so I'm not exactly sure. That's 30 grams. It's a little bit, a little bit short, so I apologize. Um, this is a really strong espresso now, so 
So ideally you want to set it to give you 36 grams, not 30 grams. So 36 grams of espresso. I'll let you do that because I don't want to waste your time uh, doing it over the video. Just gonna add a little bit more. Perfect. And when you're done, you want to take out the cord filter, knock it out. Which, by the way, if you don't have a knock box, I have a few to sell if you'd like. So let me know. Just run a, one, one or two blank shots just to rinse the grip head and the handle. Very good. Now let's do the milk part. So I'm just going to pour my milk into my milk jug. Of course with the milk there's a, there's a technique to it and I'm sure you know it. Uh, you said you're training to be a barista. But yeah, the steamer on this one is similar in technique to the, the ones you use at the cafes. It's just a little bit slower, that's all. So it's a little bit more forgiving if you want to learn the technique. Um, so this will take about 40 seconds to steam a, um, a serving of milk. Whereas the machines at the cafe will take like 10 seconds, maybe less. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it on. It'll take a few seconds to warm up and pump. Give it a few seconds more to get stronger. And when I can't touch it for too long, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put this on the side and grab a wet towel to wipe this. Really important to wipe it straight away. And of course, you want to purge the wand, um, just like that, just to get rid of the milk. That's all. Yeah. So if you keep the machine uh, healthy, it will treat you well for a long time. Um, it's really easy to use, and it's a good way to practice your barista skills. I'm just gonna pour the milk now. I don't think I'm going to be doing any latte art. I'm not much of a barista myself. But this machine is very capable of doing latte art. With a little bit of practice. So I'm going to tap the jug down to break any bubbles. Swirl it around to mix it up. I'm going to do this a couple of times.
that's good. Until it's silky smooth on top, the milk, I mean. And pour. It may not look beautiful all the time, but it always tastes amazing. I think that's what, that's what matters. I'm just gonna give my cat a little bit of milk. She loves the milk. Okay, so here's the final result. It's a latte, a few bubbles that you know, but it looks amazing and it smells amazing. And I'm sure you'll love the machine, either if you get this one or the other one. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching and I, uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.